Earthlings. I'm Larry. This is my sister, Loopy. And this is the moon. Now, thanks to modern science, we've got the moon pretty much figured out these days. But try telling that to Loopy. Looks like a giant moldy crab apple. Hey, kids, have you seen the man on the moon yet? <laughs> there he is. I see him. Come on, Dad. Everyone knows the man in the moon is just shadows on the surface. Shadows? Yeah, I see them too. That one's a dinosaur, and there's a giant bird. Oh, brother. I saw him. I'll prove it to you. Loopy, you can't lasso the moon. It's 250,000 miles away. You're right. I'm gonna need a longer clothesline. That night, I was in the middle of the coolest dream about the Charlie Chicken Show. <laughs> when suddenly... Hey! Grab your moon shoes, Space Cowboy! I got a surprise for you. Well, I had no idea how modern science was gonna explain all this. But I figured I'd worry about it later. There isn't any man in the moon. I told you, it's just... Shadows? Ah, ah. It came from over here! Ah. Grab onto the solar shield, Lunasaurus! Space Eagle, I can't hold on any longer. Destabilize the anti-gravitational field! See? I told you I saw the man in the moon. Hold on, Lunasaurus! So they finally decided to send a rescue party. Gee, thanks. You know, I've been stranded here since the 70s. Can you believe those jerks took off without me? I tell you, I would have gone totally Sputnik if it wasn't for these two guys. Ah, ah! What are you two staring at? Come on, let's get off this moldy crab apple. Good riddance. See you, kids. I'm off to kick some NASA hiding. So I guess Loopy proved we're never going to solve all the mysteries of the moon. In fact, Dad's working on one right now. Hey, anyone seen my polka-dotted underwear? This is my sister, Loopy, and this is my summer vacation, a total washout. This all started a couple of weeks ago. It had been a long, hot day, and the air was thick as toast. Hey, what was that? What's going on? Now, I was just about to explain to Loopy that thunder is caused by air rapidly expanding due to temperature changes in the upper stratosphere. When Mom butted in and said, It's just the sound of Mother Nature bowling, honey. Bowling? While people are trying to sleep? Now that's not good sportsmanship. Please don't get all excited, dear. Hey, Mother Nature! You want to bowl? Bowl with me! Week. Think you got what it takes to beat Mother Nature, do ya? That's right, Mrs. Windbag. And if I win, then you gotta lay off bowling for the rest of the summer. Okay, but if I win, then you gotta paint all the leaves brown this fall. I hate that job. Deal. Fire when ready. And so the great bowl off began. Now, Mother Nature had the muscle. I call this my Typhoon Toss. But Loopy had the touch. Well, I call this my Pastrami on Rye. Put me down for a strike, Mrs. Bluster Buns. Okay, short stuff. 
feel the wrath of my hurricane horror. Ha ha ha! You shouldn't have messed with me. I'm Mother Nature. I make the sun come up and the pins go down. Lucky for Loopy, nature can be a little unpredictable at times. Would you call that a natural disaster? Eat an avalanche, kid. Finally, there it was, the big linguine, the granddaddy of them all, the dreaded 7-10 split. Whoopi needed both pins to win. <sighs> she also needed a nap. It was late, way past her bedtime. Oh, is the little kitty winky feeling tired? <laughs> Why don't you come back when you're all grown up? Go gargle on a gutter ball. It's all in the wrist. No hard feelings? Hey, you're soaking my shoes! Don't be such a sore loser! And it's been raining ever since. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time I got back to my summer vacation. I'm Larry. This is my little sister, Rupi. And this is Mom's Mystery Casserole. Every Friday night, we've had to eat this disgusting concoction. But we've never been able to get Mom to tell us what's in it. If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery anymore, would it? Now, to Loopy, this kind of logic is hard to swallow. And last Friday morning, she just couldn't stomach it any longer. I gotta know what's in that casserole! Now, Loopy figured if Mom had secrets, she was probably keeping them in that pantry of hers. So at precisely 0800 hours, she crossed over enemy lines. Nothing seemed too suspicious at first. But before long, Loopy started to notice that a lot of Mom's food was definitely past its expiration date. Unfortunately, the next thing to expire looked like it was going to be loopy. What kind of food is this? It's small, but it ain't packaged. Yeah, disgusting. Dehydrate her. Freezer. Put her in a can. Can, 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 can. Get your canned hands off of me. Stop. You fools. Are you blind? Can you not see that this creature is related to the great chef herself? Be gone, you Cretans! I would like to have words with our honored guest. Who are you? I, I am the Sorcelot, Lord of the Pantry, King of the Condiments. And you are a naughty little girl. Huh? You couldn't wait till dinner time, could you? Well, my dear, your diligence shall be rewarded. Go ahead. Taste me. What? Go on, don't be shy. <laughs> It's you, the secret ingredient. Guilty as charged, I'm afraid. It is I, fabulous, fabulous fish sauce. Delicious, nutritious. And pukier than slug slime. What? I've never been so insulted in my life. Don't just stand there, you cretins. Can this tasteless creature. Have any last words? Yeah, yucko. I bet you're the worst tasting food in the pantry. I'd rather eat pickled yams than you. Hey, did you hear that? How dare you? How dare you compare me with this common pantry pablum? Why, it's bad enough I have to rub labels with these loathsome cans of cut price slot. I'm the king. I'm the tasty one. Me, me, me. 
God was a king. He's giving us a bad name. We taste better than he does. Throw him out of the pantry. Ah! Stop! Help! The food is revolting! See ya, Saucy. Let's not do lunch sometime. And that was the end of Mom's casserole. Yup, thanks to Loopy, Friday nights would never be the same again. Sorry, kids. No casserole today. I thought I'd try something new. Mom's pickled yam loaf. Hi, Larry here. And this is my sister, Loopy. But this is what I really want to show you. My lucky baseball. 360 degrees of cross-stitch horse-eye perfection. I plucked this baby out of the air during last season's playoffs. And ever since then, I've never let it out of my sight. But just last week, something terrible happened. Loopy! What's the deal, Banana Peel? I lost my lucky baseball! Mellow out, sauerkraut. When's the last time you saw it? Okay, I, uh, I know it was with me last night. And we took a shower this morning, and then we watched the game together. That's it! Come on! You lost it in the sofa. Don't worry, I'll get it for you. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of stuff down here. Whoa! and sardines. Just look at all this... No! Uh. Hey, turn down the high beams, will ya? Who's this, then? A lost little girl? I'm not lost. Not lost? Not lost? What are you doing down here, then? These are the minds of the lost and gone forever, these are. This can't be all down our sofa. Your sofa? Ah, every sofa. Look, you came down one of our surface tunnels here, see? Everything that's lost inside a sofa ends up here. And our job's to dig it out, keep all the good stuff, and send the rest down to the recycling centre to be turned into molten planet fuel. And, and that's, that's what, what makes the world go round. Well, I'm looking for my brother Larry's lucky baseball. An old ball came down here this morning. Looked like someone had been chewing on it. That's it! Where is it? Well, it's going to be planet fuel in about... 45 seconds. <gasps> You'd better take the elevator. Come on, come on! Level 95, umbrellas and gloves. Level 94, Jimmy Hoffa. Hey, can't this thing go any faster? Well, why didn't you say you wanted the express service? Level 1, Recycling Center. Daily meltdown scheduled to begin in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Have a nice day. Whoa! Here's your baseball, Larry. Hey, what'd you do to it? It's all scorched up. Looking back, I guess I should have been a little more grateful. Cause that's when Loopy made sure I'd never lose my lucky ball again.